choice. I like to hold it just like this. Now I have that L shape with my wrist, forearm, and bicep so that I have more control on my fakes and more control on my shot. We now want to shoot the ball in one piece, one motion. Once we uh, decide to shoot, we punch the ball. We say goodbye with the shooting hand. We say hello with the guide hand. Flexed elbow on the guide hand. Lock the elbow on the shooting hand. And make sure you shoot it in one motion, staying still as possible. Let's look at a drill called self shots to work on our release. Now we go to the self shot series. As a right handed player right now, I want to shoot it, no jump, extend my body through the ball to my guide hand. If the ball doesn't bounce on the ground, I'm really doing a good job of controlling my shot. I don't want to shoot it in front of me. If the ball's not coming back to me, I really don't have a lot of control on my shot. Once I learn how to shoot it without a jump, and I have good consistency to that guide hand, now I shoot my regular shot. You don't have to jump high. You just have to fire your feet and jump hard. Something comfortable. As a left-hander, here, shoot it. My left hand doesn't have as much control as my right, but that's okay. I just got to practice a little more. Guide hand still, shooting hand extended through the ball. Let's watch some players do it. All right, here we go. Ready? No jump. Good. Shoot that weak hand. Good. Shoot that guide hand. One motion. Nice job, George. Shoot that weak hand. Good. Now add the jump. Nice job. Shoot through that weak hand. One motion. Jump there. Jump there, Kirk. There you go. Start low. Finish high. And stop. This is still part of the self-shot series, but now I'm going to use a partner if I, if I don't have a wall. As a left-hander, I want to catch the ball and shoot it one motion right to his right side. He shoots it to my left side since he's right hand. Guide hand still, punch the ball. L, tuck the elbow, ball between shoulder and hip. Still have my perfect feet. Kind of rise up and shoot it right to his side. Now, I'm a right-handed player, right-handers. Same thing, except you do it from the right side. This is how I became ambidextrous. Doing the same drills with my weak hand. Partner releases. Partner releases. Part of the self-shot series. Partner releases. Now, Will has an uh, imaginary goal. And now I shoot to his goal. I don't shoot it like that because that's aiming. I shoot to a five foot seven goal. I'm here and now fully release and he catches it right before it goes in. Now he does the same thing to me. Shoots, very good. Full extension and now I jump. I shoot my entire shot. Jump, Will. He's not jumping, he's gotta jump. Get low, jump, Will. Get low, nice shot, very good. Get low, jump, very good. Nice. Here's how to do it left hand. One motion. Don't aim it, just shoot it. Get that arc. Again, we do not want to do this. That's aiming. We want to shoot the ball. We want to get as many game reps as we can. If you don't have a goal, again, I was very poor growing up to the extent of I didn't have a goal all the time. So this is how I had to practice shooting. Perfect practice makes permanent. Partner shots at an imaginary goal. Still part of the self-shot series. Now, we want to do mirror shots. If you're struggling, or your coach who's pretty credible says you're not really getting it, do it without a ball. Do this in your uh, room in front of a mirror. We call these mirror shots. Working on positive muscle memory. As a right-handed player, stands, shot. Stance, shot. Just continuous. I guarantee you, you do this five minutes before you go to bed. You start to develop that muscle memory. I did it. This is how I learned to become ambidextrous. Left hand. L, L, 
One motion, guide hand still, say goodbye, say hello. Mirror shots. Let's look at the players doing it. Yep, eyes on the rim, don't look at the ball. Very good. All right, now jump. Good, jump hard there, Kirk. Freeze it. This practice correlates to the game. Perfect practice, her J is going to be permanent. As a teacher for Nike and as a teacher for Shake and Bake, I believe in the part whole method. Work on the parts. Therefore, when you put it together in the whole, it's going to be a little cleaner, and that's the most efficient way to really learn something. So we're breaking your shots down into parts. The, the, the shot below the hips and the shot above the hips. This drill is called bedtime shots. For the players that aren't really strong enough yet to shoot it at the basket, and as a side note, strengthen your core muscles and you'll be able to start shooting from this position. We want to shoot for players that aren't as strong as a right-hander. I just shoot it right to myself. I call these bedtime shots because I used to do this hours while lying in bed watching TV, commercials during. If you're strong enough, now we want to shoot to the basket. Don't bring your release down until the ball hits the rim. You're not going to make everyone. You don't sacrifice form to make it. You just lift the ball up. My goal is to make three in a row. One motion. Guide hand still. Very good. And I can keep going, but if I make three in a row, I know I'm really getting it. Now, I'll show you how to do it left-handed. I'm not condoning shooting both hands. I'm blessed as a teacher to be able to demonstrate